Hey Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a great day. Today I've got my own arrangement of Edelweiss, that really lovely song from The Sound of Music, and it's done with a finger style arrangement. So that means that your guitar is playing not only the melody, the singing bit, but also a bit of accompaniment. And I've tried to make it as beginner friendly as possible. You can get the tab from my site, it just takes a name and email address to join. You can click the link right now in the video description. I really hope you you enjoy the song, let's start learning it. One, two, three. Now before I start this lesson, if you'd like a sing and strum version of this lesson, please give this video a thumbs up. If it gets over 200 thumbs up, I'll make a sing and strum version of it because there's a lovely little sing and strum piece as well. Okay, so finger style for this. So the general finger style rule that I like to live by and teach is the thumb on the th first three strings. So that's Eddie, A and Dynamite. Your index finger plays the G, the good string. The middle finger plays the B, the by, and the ring finger plays the E. So that's Eddie, A, Dynamite, good, by, Eddie. It's just a good rule to live by, especially when you're starting out with learning finger style guitar. Sometimes you have to break that rule, sure, but that's a good, good starting place. So let's look at the first bar of this. Hopefully you've got the tab from the student area at Learn Guitar in London. It is free and you can grab that by clicking the link in the video description. So that's the first part, okay? Now we're gonna take our middle finger and we're gonna hold down fret three, one, two, three, on the thickest string. Okay, we're going to play thumb on the thickest and our middle finger, this is called a pinch, pulling two strings at the same time. And when we get that lovely harmony, right? So we then bring the ring finger onto fret three on the B string. Now you may find that a little difficult. Bring your thumb a little lower, keep your elbow into your body. And that's the beginning. So it's open on the B string, then three on the B string. Then move that ring finger up and play fret five, one, two, three, four, five, or you may have a white dot, second white dot on your instrument, on the thinnest string. And this time you're gonna pinch the D string, the third string down, and that five. So we've got... <coughs> Excuse me, good. The next bar is... Okay, so we've got the three, same thing like we did before. The only difference is this time is that we have to hold down the third fret with the ring finger on the thinnest string. It's like a G chord if ever you've played that. Play the top and bottom string, then move that ring finger up to the three on the B string. And obviously you need to pluck that using the middle finger on your picking hand. Then we need fret one, on the B string and fret three on the A string. So use your index and ring. If those of you might know this, it's a C chord, but you're just plucking the A and the B string, that's string two and string five of that chord. So a little bit of movement though for the fingers, you've got to really get to that C chord as quickly as you can. So the first two bars. Good, the next two bars. Good. So keeping with this fret three on the thickest string theme, that's called a G note by the way, because this song is in G, we're going to play thumb there on the thickest and middle finger on the B, just like we did before, then play the B by itself, <coughs> excuse me, just as open, then open on the thickest string and the B string, so we've got a different bass note there, or different, we're not holding down three anymore, then fret one, then fret three on the B string. Index, excuse me, I'm using index and ring finger. If you can keep them held down like this, great. But if you have to lift them up, so be it. 
then open A string and open E string. Just playing and letting them hold, so nice and simple, no fretting involved. Then fret three on the B string and striking the D string at the same time as a pinch. So three and four bar. Okay, good. So here's the good news. The next two bars are exactly the same as bars one and two. So we've done this already, three and zero, three up to five, the threes top and bottom, three on the B, the C chord style one and three. Okay, good. So they're the same, you've already learned those. Good, bars seven and eight. Okay, so bar seven, once again, keeping the three on the thickest string, playing the open B string, then fret three on the B, then this time pinching the D string with the fret three on the B, so don't lift it up off that hand. Open on thinnest, then index finger on fret two on the thinnest. And then threes on the thickest string and the thinnest string like we've had before, pulling those. And then the next part is a big pinch. So this is where the thumb plays the thickest string, index plays the G string, middle plays the B, and ring plays the E. So that, that rule really helps now, doesn't it? And pluck all four strings like this. Well, sometimes I rake it like that, but that's a bit more of an advanced technique. <clears throat> so that pretty much gives us the main melody of the song. Okay, let's now look at the bridge. So what are we doing? Well, you can start this time with either your little finger or your ring finger on fret 5 on the thinnest string. And we're going to be playing the D string and that thinnest string with the five. Then two threes on the B string. Then fret two on the thinnest string, playing your bass note of the D. Once again, another pinch, pulling two strings together. Then open on thinnest, then three on B. So putting that all together. Very good. Then fret three on the thickest string with the open B string. We've done this a few times, pinching. Then three on the B string. And then moving the three down, leaving these two threes together, thickest and thinnest string, pulling those two. So we've done that before. So putting it all together for the bridge. Good. Okay, next part. So, third fret on the A string this time, okay? And we're also playing the thinnest string at the same time uh, without holding anything down, a zero. So another pinch, pulling those two strings. Then, I mean, I like to use my little finger. I suppose you could use middle for this three. In fact, use your middle if you're a beginner. Then ring finger on fret three on the thinnest string. Then move that ring finger up to fret five and pinch the A string with that five. So it's pinch, pick, pinch. Then your index finger's pretty much there for fret three. So you can just play fret three on the thinnest string. And then move that finger down one more fret again to fret two and play the open D string and that note as a pinch and then finally a D chord if you know what a D chord is if you don't don't worry fret 2 on the D string fret 3 on the B string and you can use your middle if you know the D but you don't actually play that and then we're going to do a pinch of thumb on the D index and middle so a sort of, sort of nearly a big pinch three three string pinch so it's 
So bars 11 and 12 slowly. Okay, good. Good, and I'll just recap on the bridge. <coughs> okay, and then back to your outro, which is exactly the same as bars um, five, six, seven, and eight. So it goes. So that's exactly the same as we learnt in lines 5, 6, 7 and 8, bars 5, 6, 7 and 8, or lines 3 and 4 in the tab. I'll do it again though. 5, 3, 2, 3, and pinch, big pinch to finish the song. Okay, so I really hope you've enjoyed that nice, simple, sort of almost like a lullaby finger style song that I really hope you get a lot out of. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Keep on playing and see you soon.